Neuroscientists have been studying the brain for decades, but one part of it remains shrouded in mystery, the claustrum. The word derives from Latin meaning a hidden space uh, or enclosed space, and that is because the structure itself is enclosed within a lot of white matter tracts or axon fibers within, within the brain, making it very, very difficult to access. Dr. Brian Mather's lab is focused on understanding the role of the claustrum in human thought. The claustrum is highly connected to other parts of the brain, so much so that Nobel laureate and DNA pioneer Dr. Francis Crick believe the claustrum may be the seat of human consciousness. Dr. Mather has a different theory. We believe it's involved in something called cognitive control, um, which is our ability to muster cognitive faculties in order to perform difficult cognitive tasks. Like complex attention and working memory tasks or performing a difficult piece of music for the first time. In order to perform these cognitive tasks, we need to coordinate our cerebral cortex in certain ways called networks in order to uh, achieve optimal cognitive performance. And the claustrum is situated anatomically and functionally to perform this function of coordinating cortical networks for supporting cognitive control. In the study, mice were given a difficult task to perform to see if claustrum played a role. Mice did a good job of picking the right light source for a quick reward, but when their claustrum was disabled, their accuracy declined. In human testing, MRI imaging enabled researchers to monitor brain activity in real time. And we tasked humans with a cognitive task that is very difficult. It's called the multi-source interference task. And what we found was the claustrum activated when this difficult version of this task was presented to the subjects. But when we presented a very easy version of this attentional task to them, the claustrum was not activated. Understanding how the claustrum builds cortical networks may someday lead to new treatments for diseases marked by cognitive problems, such as depression, Alzheimer's disease, and autism. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.